Hello. Hello, hello. So, I uh, am here at the hospital with my husband. I uh, am watching him walk down the hallway now. He's doing PT and occupational therapy, seeing if he can walk and talk and chew them all at the same time kind of thing. Here's my pen. Can you grab it? <laughs> this is a coordination assessment. Yeah. I mean, um, that one. Yeah. Thank you. Good job. How does any of that feel funky? Uh, about 90, 95%. Just that little slight. All right, let's head back in your room. Hey, walking the dog. Husband's still in the hospital tonight, Tuesday. Hopefully he'll be back to the house tomorrow, Wednesday, January 19th. We'll see. I don't know. Not going to the Greenway so we can pick up some bags. I didn't grab a bag. So when you poop, hopefully it's not too huge. I don't want to poop on our neighbor's lawn either. Look at beautiful evening. The sunset's really nice. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to get you in the picture when you were doing your business. <sighs> it's been a crazy day again. Actually, I had to take a nap at the hospital room on two chairs because they didn't have a real recliner or anything for me <sighs> tomorrow hopefully he'll be in a bed like said a room that was not in the ICU so hope to gosh and all that that he will be hold on it's being stupid Hold still. The leash is broken. Well, spring is starting to be ridiculous. See, slack. It won't spring back in action. Oh, well. I'll talk to you guys later. And update you on things that are happening. So we're taking a walk. He's able. He's on his own. So. Uh, the, the drink machine and the, the little. Yeah. So it's out here. Uh, take left. So yeah, we're gonna take a walk to the vending machines. Yay. Beige Hospital. Look at this nice view. Ooh, pretty. Nice view. There's Raleigh, at least North Raleigh. So these stairs are used for therapy, so in case somebody needs mobility training again after stroke or whatever. So that's awesome. Yeah, look at this. This is nice. Lounge area. Cool. So we're going to get an ultrasound of the, his heart and see what's going on. You don't mind if I film. I'm just going to put it on him. I'm not doing any faces or anything. Okay. I just. So these things. Or to wrap around his legs and massage them. They put them on patients. I know I put them, got them on when I was in surgery. That they would lead to 
It's air pressure. It fills with air and back and forth. But that helps the um, blood circulation. <sighs> it's feeling like a lived in home here, all this stuff. <laughs> Hopefully, um, today we can clear out. Hey guys. <clears throat> so, yesterday, um, we had seen the doctor and we were all uh, excited because he said that we probably would go home. And, uh, It got later and later in, in the afternoon. And it, uh, I can't remember when the doctor came. It was like 11, I think, 10 or 11 in the morning. So uh, anyway, by two o'clock, we were wondering what was going on. They finally came and did the ultrasound on his heart and arteries in his neck. And uh, that seemed to go fine and they told him he'd have his results and if he nothing happened there then he would be good to go well the nurse finally came in about five o'clock and said sorry um you'll have to stay another night so oh. uh so I went home, and I'm back here this morning, so, hopefully, hopefully, today is the day, and she said something about an MRI this morning, so, hopefully, that will get done, hope that doesn't mean that they have a concern with the ultrasound, and that, um, that means that they have to do the MRI to double check things and whatnot. I don't know, but hopefully it doesn't mean something bad, so. <sighs> anyway, I'll give you an update if we have it, and uh, hopefully that will be to say we're going home for sure, so. Talk to you later. Part of the reason I want to get out of here is because there's expecting winter weather to start coming in tonight. I don't know, after dark sometime. Um, so, and tomorrow's supposed to be some sleet and snow. At least a 60% chance, so that's more than half. So, we're always on the borderline Raleigh and Wake Forest in that area. Um, so, hopefully we can do this quickly, quickly. I'll talk to you guys later. Hello again. Um, we just spoke to the neurologist who uh, said that the ultrasound had something that did concern them slightly, maybe. It could be related to having strokes if it's open. Um, and if so with the MRI, if they take the MRI and they see multiple spots where there could be stroke, um, not just, you know, this one spot on the cerebellum, if there's multiple spots on it, um, then they will, um, now, hopefully we can speed that along and get it going this morning. It's 1020 so that we can get out of here this afternoon, evening. Um, otherwise, he'll have to stay another night, which is ridiculous because there's really nothing else that they're going to do here. And so cross our fingers that we do get out of here today um and they can get that mri done this morning talk to you later and keep updating me as i need to <laughs>